Okay, so in this tutorials, we're going to look more on the Z depth maps, how we can create those images and um, the depth images, it's, we can use it in many areas, include like After Effects animation, we can even do use it in a Photoshop, um, we can use it in a Nuke or other applications. And even now on a Facebook, for example, you can take a Z depth, upload it with your image, and this will create a lookalike 3D image, which actually we're going to do. Um, it will have it a little bit different because if we look on the application like Terrigen or other things, the D depth when produced it's black will be our closest and white is far away. On uh, Facebook and other applications, some it's accepted as white will be closest and black is far away. So we will inverse that one as we're going along. So right here we have an image and I want to just slightly modify because uh, usually we going with parallax, but parallax work about 10 meters. So we'll need to create something elements closer to this. Um, let's go just very fast, something to create and we'll go to shaders, go to displacement and let's create a crater. Um, we'll also take this crater, like link between nodes, between our compute terrains. You know what, let's take this diameter a little bit smaller. Okay, so we have it right here. Uh, let's look, zoom out. So right here is our kind of crater adjustment. Okay, we also can modify a little bit height on a rim a little bit. This one, reducing the skirt so it does not. And maybe reduce the softness as well, just maybe not. Okay, just create a little bit crater at this point. Okay, let's do something a little bit more fun with this, add a little bit of rocks. And we'll go again to create shader displacement and we'll go to fake stones. Okay, right here are fake stones and let's do them before our compute terrain. So right here, let's zoom out and see our fake stones. Okay, we have render, okay, right there. Okay, so our fake stones about right size should be good. Okay, on this um, simple shape, well, let's go to reduce maybe to 7000. About 7000, actually, maybe even 5000, get closer. Yeah, I think that one work a little bit better. Let's go to 3000. Okay, yeah, let's go to set about that size. Okay, going closer. Again, I'm just a little bit playing with the adjustments, which it does not necessarily relate it. It just set up so we can see that the Z depth a little bit um, nicer this way. Okay, I think that one will work better. Okay, and a fake stones. Let's pop up our density higher. We'll go on a shape and let's increase pancake effect. And a little bit taller. Okay. I think about this Z depth right here will work. But right, let's set our camera. Uh, maybe even lower, you know, let's go go too lower, but I want to have this kind of effect on Z depth. I think this one will work better. Okay, so right here we set up. Um, we don't need maybe coloring. We'll just leave it as default at this point. Except, you know what, um, color, let's go with this one. Bit warmer. Okay, we'll go put it our coloring up. Okay. So, for example, you can done with your terrain. You can set up anything else. The important, uh, if we look on the render, you notice right here we have it also depth of field. If we in turn on this, it's still not yet necessarily produced for us. We also need connect a nodes. 
um, we'll go inside the render select our render and then render right here you can see the render layer let's go to add create new render layer when it's connected and if we're going in properties for render layer we can also see the render elements that we can specify all these additional options for example you can see we have it all rgb all elements separated we also can do by objects object groups we can separate the lights uh, lights and other stuff for us we are interested in surface depth so how going you can also if you have it clouds we can create the clouds depth as well but for now mostly we're interested in service depth so let's click ok um one we connecting to this the other options we want to be sure that if we render we want to render to the disk and when you start rendering to the disk um, it's important to see where the render is set so you notice by default um, this is set to C and whatever my drive so I want to actually redirect this to different so in this case I just specify where I want to put it and I want to enable the extra output images so let's see what's happening if I click to render all to the disk remember if I click render image it will just render a single image if you're going to render all to the disk it will take all of this extra information that we're creating and will output to specify folder okay when render is completed and we can see now in our folder we have it creating specific um, subfolders so right here we have it surface depth and let's go ahead and open this depth inside the Photoshop and you can see it's kind of almost impossible to see those elements kind of depth does not work very well in this case so the other things what we can do we can specify the output um, based on the additional node so we can actually create a node of zip depth and use it this way so let's go ahead as example we're going to the shader color shader and we want to create a distant um, with distant node we want to place it between base color and planet Okay, notice as we modify now we can see more details with this so even we have a render layer which output for us information the distance shader has created it can output a little bit more so what we're going to do is open distance shader and modify some properties here the most important for us modify it's a flip these uh, colors because far away color it should be black and a close up should be white we want to do this just so we have it more information pass inside the Photoshop or inside the Facebook as we're going to use for our distance. Also notice far distance it's set uh, 10,000. We can also modify this to bring a little bit closer. That will provide additional uh, compression on our coloring. So we can set. Uh, one thing be careful when you create it because too high parallax will create an unrealistic look but for our purposes I think we can kind of play a little bit more with this so I don't want to compress here but I want to leave it more compressed on the back at this point okay one thing when we render our atmosphere and will be rendered as well and we want don't want it we actually want to have it black in this case because atmosphere will stay way way on the back okay to do this we'll need to go in atmosphere and be showing our atmosphere we just disable so we don't need it atmosphere at all also if you have it any clouds you want to disable um, the clouds as well so in this case you can see we have a nice black and white render okay let's go also in the render properties and at this point we actually don't need any of those stuff we can disable them we don't need depth the field and other effect okay and we're ready to actually go ahead and start rendering as it's render you can see at this point we have our nice black sky and um, it's take a little bit second but now we have more information for our depth map so let's go at this point we can go ahead and save this um, render 
Okay, and then next we need go just to go back. Let's go to our atmosphere enable, and I want to take this one disable coring, and we can go ahead and render one more time our normal image. Okay, same things when it's done, we can go ahead and save our render. Okay, as the um, Turgeon save it, save with the TFF uncompressed what I did it. However, we need to convert those images to PNG format to upload it in the, this in our case in a Facebook. So let's go ahead, I'm going in Photoshop. Here's our first image, we don't need this anymore. And we'll go open images we just created. Okay, there's a two images, our color and the Z depth. And now I'm going to save us PNG, both of them. And next we'll go inside the, um, the also very important things to get not the size of the file need be same. So it will look on resolutions as well. And as well as extension of the image, because it will look on um, depth name under underscore. So I'll show you in a second what I mean. Okay, so we create images and you can check what is important it is that image is named same, same size and one have it underscore depth. That is very important. It's how um, Facebook will recognize. So we'll just go ahead, drop them there and you'll notice as images will upload it, the Facebook start um, recognize it's two images, same size, same underscore and other things and it will create this 3D photo preview for us. So it's take time, and you can see right here, look on the back mountain, so it does affecting the Z depth. Again, let's have a little bit tricks how you can create it. For example, if you look right on the side right there, it's not necessarily the best, so have a little bit uh, play around. But overall, there's how we can create Z depth and apply for, in this case, with uh, um, the Facebook, so we have it, our image done. Uh, thank you for watching these tutorials, and please remember visit us on the website is www.geekatplay.com.